Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So here we have our lambda. In the previous video we have already seen uh, we set up the AWS profile, we did the SLS configuration with the AWS key and secret key and then we created a basic template AWS uh, I mean serverless template for simple Node.js application. This is how it looked like. Okay. This is the initial configuration. I have removed a lot of comments and then I have added two things which is the profile. I mean through which profile you will be deploying and the region to which you will be deploying this lambda. Okay. After specifying this, I can just do simply SLS deploy minus V. So what it will do is it will deploy this lambda and we will also see the progression like how it is happening because it's a framework. So it is also doing the same thing like uh, creating the cloud formation template and uploading it to the S3 and then deploying it. So if we just see what all things are happening here, it has created the node.js.zip. If you see, this is uh, the template stack it has created. Even in the steps, if you see, uh, it is actually uploading cloud formation file to S3, then it is creating the zip and then validating template. And then it will do the same process, right? It will actually create a, a role so that we, we should be able to see the logs on the CloudWatch, right? So all these update in progress, you can see CloudFormation stack it is creating, it is creating the role, it is creating the log group and then a lot of things will happen and then after that it should be able to deploy this hello function, right? Once this is done, we will get the notification and even we are getting the, the ERN of the Lambda, fully qualified name and this is where it has deployed. Right stage is dev, reason is this, and we don't set up any API key and all these things. But yeah, our Lambda is deployed, right? So this is the basic thing, like the first thing, once you configure everything, you should be able to deploy Lambda. That will say, okay, all your configurations are correct. Now, what all other commands you can play around is, okay, if you want to invoke this function, if you want to invoke this function simply like this, right? So what is our function name here? Function name is hello. If you go to our handler, then our function name is hello because this is what it has been deployed. We are invoking this function, so it should give us respond to us with this return message, right? Go serverless v1. That will say that we are able to invoke this function, and rest other we have the same set of commands. Like you can also check the logs generated through this like SLS logs the function name you can also keep checking it like uh, you can do the tail command and finally you can do SLS remove what SLS remove will do is it will remove all the the cloud formation stack we have created so that is the, the one step cleaner for your lambda if you are just running it for the test right so this is what the run did it actually created the the lambda context it actually used some memory because once you are running this for the first time, right? If I run this for the second time, then I think it should be faster than what it, what the time it took for the first time. So it is creating the whole Node.js environment and then it is executing this particular Lambda and we are able to see the response. Similarly, if you can also check the logs generated through this SLS logs minus F, uh, one simple. Okay, and then finally we can do SLS remove, right? So, this is like uh, this is these are the basic simple commands you can do if you have multiple functions in your code then you can actually deploy a particular function instead of doing the everything like sls deploy function name is hello okay you can just deploy function minus f hello so you did some change in the hello function now you should be able to deploy it we can also we can also do some logs like SLS logs minus F function name hello and the T flag. We should keep getting the, the logs coming from this particular lambda. Okay, so it didn't it just packaged it and it just deployed it. We can also get the logs and then finally we will do SLS remove. That also we will do here because we have other things to create not like the dummy lambdas and because we are not going to use it it's just for test lambda we have created then we can actually do sls 
remove and one more important thing is we can also delete the user because that but we are going to do a lot of other things with this user so let's keep that user for now okay so this is a step one how we are deploying the lambda how we are invoking it how we are checking the logs and how we are executing a particular lambda how we are execute how we are deploying the change happened in a particular lambda because your serverless config can have 10 functions 10 lambda functions but if you want to do only one deployment or you want to check the logs for a particular one all these things you can do here okay so let's connect in the next video there we will explore more about uh, serverless